run against the rest. They're gonna have to do it right here. Two fellas coming out in the gold singlets there. That's another trend that started in wrestling. Guys get to the finals, they start wearing the off color, the lighter color of their schools. A lot of excitement. The 1A match in the top right corner there, Dalton Jensen of Missouri Valley and Ridge Kiley of Eagle Grove. And on the lower right box, that's your two-way match. Kyle Pedretti out of MFL Marmac and Tyler Halverson from Cherokee, Iowa. That's your 103-pound bracket. We'll keep you posted on both of the matches to the right. As they progress, you'll be able to see the score and the time there below once the matches begin. And, of course, on the left side of the screen is the 3A match, as uh, Jim just mentioned there. Nate Moore out of Iowa City, 33-0, and Mark Ballway out of Waverly Shell Rock, 41-0. A pair of freshmen, it's... I guess not unusual, that first weight class, you got to look for a youngster sometimes that still hasn't put on the pounds. Yeah, but these guys are really well built, and they've been in the sport for a long time. Uh, all from one, probably won several kids' belts, so to speak, and uh, uh, a lot of experience out here for two young wrestlers. All right, let's get it started. Mark Ryland in the Iowa City West uh, chair for the coaches. Rick Caldwell over for Waverly Shell Rock and a quick shot. Actually, you look at that, uh, the, the only way you can tell these two apart here is the ankle bands here, and Balwig has the green ankle bands on your left, and he'll be, he's representing Waverly Shell Rock. So, great situation here. Tied up there. And these guys have to know, you know, where they are with regard to the team. I know that, uh, you know, they, they train as a team, and, and uh, so it wouldn't not be unusual to see these guys come out here a little tight. There's a nice shot there by Moore. Fights it off, does Balweg, he'll go to Iowa State next year. Yeah, and Nate Moore is the, uh, is the uh, uh, cousin or nephew of, the, uh, of Cliff Moore, who wrestled at Iowa last year and was the NCAA champion. Step there to the boundary, and they'll take him back to the center of the match again. Jensen leads on your 1A match there, 2 to nothing, and still no score in the 2A match on the bottom right. See the pin situation up there up top. Eagle Grove's uh, wrestler getting uh, turned over there. That's Ridge Kiley. With these guys on the, on the feature match here. Here's a spin around situation here for Moore. He's gonna get the two points. That's easily a, that's a good call. Now he finds himself in kind of a Granby tie-up situation. This is dangerous. You could get big points here, Tim. That's two-point reversal. Roll. It's going to tie the score up. Yep. Good scramble. Down, tell you what, there's a, a oh. back point situation here. Balwig from Waverly Shell Rock getting the count. Moore is on his back. That's big. When you can go ahead and do that in the first period, get a reversal and back points, you really, you know, get the other guy wondering about what's happening out here, and nobody can prepare you totally for what you experience here going through that march and uh, the warm-up and, and everything. You try to make it routine, but hey, this is for this championship. Freshman kid has never been beaten. Looking at the roof of the building for a second there, obviously, uh, gets your attention. Get, get your rattled. <laughs> okay, again, it's uh, Jensen on the top, two zip, and uh, you can see the two-way match on the lower right. I think Moore had his choice there, and he went ahead and chose uh, the neutral position. You know, when a, when a freshman gets to this level, you can usually see somebody who's really proficient on their feet, and that was a beautiful snap down. Brought Moore right back into the match. He feels like he's the most uh, talented wrestler on the feet. When that happens, 4-4 score now. Jim, both of these guys have powered their way through the bracket. A couple of falls for Moore, an 8-3 win in the semifinal. Balwick, meanwhile, uh, a fall. He's pinned his way through this tournament. Excuse me, 5-4 score here. Balwick ahead after the escape. And early in this match, you can see Balwick doing a good job of uh, holding on to uh, Moore's wrist. He couldn't really get his shot off. Here you see him moving to a two-on-one. Now he comes to a shot of his own. Driving into him, he's got the outer third of the mat to work with. And notice how uh, Moore, from Iowa City West, stuffing the head. He's pushing the head down. It's very difficult to lift your opponent when you have your head stuffed like that. Balwick does get up. He's 
keeping his head down and looking for the big move here over here at the cradle. That's really not going to be very effective, but able to control there underneath that uh, the knee there. Yeah, and you've got to figure he's got to be in another, when it's his choice, he's going to go down, probably get an escape, so he's in effect kind of got a two-point lead here with the strategy that Moore's taken. Again, Moore with the red leg band, Ballwick with the green, and oh, that's, uh, that's Moore with a nice little shuck there, I guess, kind of, and gets behind him in the takedown. He takes the lead. This is decision time here for him. He's got to try to ride his man out here, trying to Help clinch the not only his uh, title for himself as a freshman, but the state title for his team. There's an escape. 21 seconds left. He feels pretty comfortable in this position. Watch him try to limp that right arm out. That's the key. As he bounces his head off the mat and limp the right arm out. Ballwick this time does a good job of getting to the wrist. A take down there at the escape that was really critical. Now it's a, a scramble around situation. Both up to go back to the center of the mat here in the second period. All tied up. 22 seconds left in the second period. And again, ball weight, you know, kind of had a free. He's, he, he feels comfortable going down, and that's a position that Moore did not feel comfortable in. He chose neutral, so he's going to let him up and try to win it here with a takedown or two. Now in the third period, I misspoke, I looked at the wrong clock there. Just getting underway in the third period, Ballwick gets the uh, one point. And a 7-6 score. Again, Waverly Shell Rock trying to catch up with Iowa City West. They win here, they get four points. They would come within one half point of the team lead, which Iowa City West has right now. This is a position where Moore has had some success. We'll see how well Balwake has adjusted to it, being underneath. It seems like he's been able to keep his chest down. Like you mentioned the head earlier there, it was chest on his back, again, keeping his weight down. Yeah, well, what happens here is, this, is the snap. If, if, if uh, When he gets to the collar tie right here, he's really comfortable with that being more. Now he takes a shot, a little half shot. Fought off pretty well, but Balwake held on a little too long. Now he's got to be worried about back points. Moore goes out in front with the takedown. Now with one minute left in the in the period, Moore has to make a decision whether he's going to go ahead and there's a Randy Roll situation. He's going to try to ride him out here. That looks like the strategy here to ride him out now. He's the first time he's really made a, a conscious decision to, to keep Balwig down. We'll see if he's successful doing it. Tight around the waist. Riding strong. Well, he really is. He's a good tight race ride in the call scale, man. Right there, yeah. Taking back to the middle of the mat with 36 seconds left. Well, these are the situations, Tim, you work on all year. Start at the beginning of the season. 30-second escapes. Good tight waist. Notice how he's dropped down to the hip. He's not around the waist as much as he dropped to the hip. Balwig had a difficult time getting out of that. Notice there on the top corner, Matt, that's Missouri Valley's Dalton Jensen. He's your champion, just a sophomore in Class 1A. Oh, Moore riding on the right-hand side. He's showing a lot of savvy here for a freshman. Trying to, now he drives back here. Now here's a scramble here. What's gonna happen here? A reversal and back points. Unbelievable. Moore is, actually, yeah, Balwig with the reversal and back yep. points. He's going to win 11 to 8, and he just tightened up this team race. What a move. What a way to get this night started. Well, I tell you what, Waverly Shellrock's got a great contingent down here, and they're all on their feet. Mark Balwig, a freshman, will finish the season 42 and 0, and is the state champion in Class 3A at 103 pounds. Unbelievable. And on the two-way mat, finishing up just a second ago there, that's Tyler Halverson of Cherokee, who wins the two-way championship at 103 pounds. 103 pounds. Well, there you see Coach Caldwell hugging his young stallion there that, uh, again, great stuff. And we'll be back with the next weight class after this local break.
Brought to you by the FSC. Ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the award stand area at the east end of the auditorium. Presenting the Class 1A 103-pound awards, Coach Chuck Earlywine of Mo Valley. Eighth place, Sean Schaffbuck, Belle Plain. Seventh place, Nathan McRoberts, Rockford FR. Sixth place, Alex Helmich, Grettinger Terrell. Fifth place, Jordan Westfall, Highland Riverside. Fourth place, Ben Hartman, West Hancock Brett. Third place, Greg Freshwater, Dyking, New Hartford. The runner up, Riley Ridge Kiley from Eagle Grove. And the Class 1A 103-pound state champion from Missouri Valley, Dalton Jensen. And back with more awards after this network break. Eighth place, Andrew Long, Preston. Seventh place, Ryan Hill, Vinton Shellsburg. Sixth place, Daniel Clark, Central DeWitt, Clinton. Fifth place, Corey Olson, Denver Tripola. Fourth place, Brandon Jackson, Eddie Bell Blakesburg. Third place, Dylan Miner, Spirit Lake Park. Runner up, Kyle Pedretti, MFL Marmac. And the Class 2A 103 pound state champion from Cherokee, Washington, Tyler Halverson. And now let's go to the third member of our team, our Matt Side reporter, B.J. Matt McDonough, Linmar Marion. Fifth place, Josh South, Johnston. Fourth place, Joe Souter, North Scott Eldridge. Third place, Steve Welcher, Newton. Runner-up, Nate Moore, Iowa City West. And the Class 3A 103-pound state champion from Waverly Shell Rock, Mark Balweg.